So this is uh, Chinese Battery Gate Part 2. Now, just to recap, I purchased via AliExpress this uh, battery pack that claims to do 13,800 milliamps. I didn't think it would do anywhere near that, um, but I was thinking if they're going to make such outlandish claims, at least I might get, I don't know, 5,000 milliamps out of it, um, which was roughly what I wanted. Um, but actually, when I've uh, done current drawing from it, I've managed to only get about 1,000 milliamp hours out of it. Uh, so I thought I'd tear it down. First thing I noticed is although it comes as a, a bank of six apparent packs, this one so it feels like it's full of sand. And we're going to prove this now. So all I need to do is uh, rip the... Because no, no electrical contacts, uh, no electrical tabs attached to it. It just was completely disconnected from the rest of it. So what we'll do is we'll um, open it up and we'll see what how it looks on the multimeter right it's a battery yeah I've had it on charge so we should be getting at least some voltage on here you can see my voltmeter there it's not very good but you can see it so we'll probe both sides of the battery nothing okay right so you could just say okay maybe it's a very 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 discharge discharged battery so why not we uh, why don't we just test uh, continuity then nothing so it, it's not even a piece of metal it's an insulator just to prove the probes are working so it's not my probes that's the issue this is not a battery so let's find out what the hell it actually is shall we so rip this thing open now never do this to a real lithium battery because it will explode or do nasty things so there we are that's what we've got it definitely does not weigh enough to be a legitimate battery so what we'll try and do is let's try to get this top off. This might be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll give it a go. I'll try not to injure myself in the process. I've got to say, the um, one way of telling fake batteries from real ones is how well machined the top is. And actually, of all, all of the fake ones that I've seen on YouTube, this is one of the better machined tops. Um, but what's the point of machining a lovely metal cylinder if you then go and fill it with shit like sand? Uh, come on, get open, you sod. There we go. Let's get in there now. I wouldn't ever do this, as I say, with a real lithium battery because it could just explode and it would be very bad if it did. Right, this is not even opening. There we go. Oh. Keep going. Let's try and get this bugger open. I had to break my um, lovely precision electrical pl electronic pliers. There we are. Managed to make a hole in the top of it. Let's. Oh look, it's full of fucking sand. This is not a battery. This is full of sand. Well, I've now got some basic dirt from a beach in China. Thanks very much. Uh, so I will be sending these photos to. Uh, there we go. It's the the brand name is Ocoman, and the batteries are full of sand, as you can see. Would you like any pepper on your uh, steak, sir? So, if you'd like some sand from China, I've got two more vials of this stuff. Look, I'm not a mug, guys. I don't expect you to ship me this stuff. But the other three batteries, the other three things do seem to be real cells. So they have at least sent me three real lithium cells. I don't think they're true 1650s because um, most the capacity of most real 1650s, sorry, 8650s is um, about 3,000 milliamps, 2, 000, milliamp hours, so 2,000 to 3,000 milliamp hours. Uh, but a lithium cell will generally have a voltage of 3.7 volts. So if we probe across um, some of these, we will find that you can see that we have definitely got uh, 3.7 volts. So if I probe across this one, uh, there we go, 3.7. So and if you probe across the whole stack, you'll find that that will add up to um, the almost almost 12 volts. So I think what's happening here is that they've got three lithium cells. I would guess these are probably very small lithium cells. Um, encased in a much bigger packaging to make them look, you know, a lot more impressive. 
and um, what they're doing is they're putting them in series to get to almost 12 volts when charged and then they've got this regulator circuit here which is both a charge regulator and a um, yeah and probably a shut off for when the current gets too low uh, and then they've just gone and attached three cylinders of sand to um, uh, to try and add weight to it and make you think that you've got a real product. So basically, if you charge the thing up, you're going to get 12 volts because you've got three of these things in series, but you're, no, you're not going to get anywhere near the capacity because, first of all, a capacity of 13,800 milliamp hours isn't even possible with, with six of these genuine cells. The most you'd likely get with top-of-the-range ones is about 7,500. Um, and in any case, well, uh, three of them are not actually cells. They are sand containing bloody mugs anyway so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to steal this circuit because I should imagine this circuit is a pretty reasonable charging discharging protection circuit and I'm going to attach it to three real lithium 18650 batteries in series to build a bike light that actually has proper capacity <laughs> 